everyone, welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts. Rachel here, hope you're all well. So before we start today, I just want to quickly um, tell you all about some freebie files that are available to go with the Fall Friends kits. Um, some of them are available on um, my coffee shop, uh, as in K-O-F-I, uh, links down below. Um, this one here is available for everybody to go in and download as a freebie. And then there are also some additional ones for those of you that are signed up to our coffee membership. So I haven't yet had a chance to say a hello and a thank you to those of you that are signed up to our membership. So if I can just really quickly say hi to Kim, Kendra, Karen, Jenny, Eva, Johnny, Julia, Kim again, hi, Cheryl, Jen and Brenda. And I think Johnny is actually somebody called Lady J. So if I've missed you off, I do apologise, but these are the other people on my list. Um, so for those of you that are signed up to our monthly coffee membership, there are additional uh, freebie kits there for you. Um, as obviously part of your membership, you'll be able to download this one here, this one here, this one here, and this background here. The background here doesn't look like that. I just yanked it out of my printer because I've been super impatient. Not like me, I know. But there is also a freebie there for those of you um, that just want general access to the coffee site. There's some additional lovely pockets there to go with the kit. Please go and check those out and download them. If you go on to Rose's coffee uh, page, you will also find some additional um, freebies from her as well. She's got this beautiful, beautiful background page here with another background page to go on the back, which I love, so I've made sure I've printed those double up. These are going straight into my journal now. I've printed them, I've cut my white lines off because you know our blinking printers. Love this page, absolutely love it. And again, I packed it with that lovely backing page. There's also this other lovely journaling page um, and I've backed it with this other beautiful journaling page as well. So thank you for those rows. Go check those out on her coffee um, site. I will put the links to both of those down below. Um, so there's some additional freebies for you. Also, whilst I was having a little nose on Rose's coffee site, now um, I'm a little bit behind on checking out other people's pages because <laughs> quite frankly, I have so much my own social media stuff to sort out. I don't have to get a chance to peruse other people's. But whilst I was looking at Rose's coffee page, I noticed she has these stunning labels. They are also free. This is two pages. They are two A4. I've um, printed them out smaller so I can use these today. Uh, she's got one with all these lovely words in, which actually go with quite a few of the different kits she's got because there's a few travel words there as well. Um, and then she's got these beautiful blanks so you can do whatever you want with them. So I've downloaded those. Thank you for those, Rose. They are very, very nice. And I'm going to be using those today. And like I say, I've printed them off half size so that I can utilise them in what I'm going to be doing. But um, you can print them out larger. I, my gosh, I'm sure that they actually probably would come off large enough that you would use them as little tuck spots as well so they are gorgeous right okay without further ado let's get on with what we're going to talk about today so what i wanted to do is talk to you about um collage pages and when i say collage pages i'm referring of course to um pages like this that go into um you, you, you know you very often will get with journal kits um, some people just like to use them as um, journal pages. Um, this is another example of one here. This is one of the this month's freebies. Um, I've got lots of different examples sitting here on the desk. In fact, I've actually brought along a few. Gosh, I say that like I've brought some friends with me. Well, they are friends, I suppose. I brought along a few um, of uh, a kit that we are working on at the moment. Um, so this is not yet released for those of you that are going to be like whoa where'd you get those pages from these are um these are my practice pages but i don't like to waste the paper so i've been trialing some different tones and styles and things um so you will see some differences between them but these are all examples of um collage pages so what i'm going to do today is well i'm I don't think I'm going to get all of these ideas into one video, so I may do it over a couple of different videos, but I'm going to be working with some of these collage pages, and I pulled these ones because I do feel that their they kind of colours go with our autumnal colours. So those that do go, I will be working with. So that one, for example, I think we'll, we'll pull that one out for now, because um, I'm loving the oranges, the browns, and the yellows, and I think, yeah, that will go really nicely, especially with these here. There's a nice cross-section there. Um, and I'm going to show you... The sorts of things I like to do with these collage pages. So 
I do apologize, my hand's got a bit of black on them. I'm trying to fix a filing cabinet and it just like got really messy. So sorry about that. Um, I'm going to show you some different examples of different project projects, ideas, things that you can do to utilize these pages in a different ways so that you don't always just have to think. I mean, I know you don't all just think, oh, I'll just use this journal page, but you know, some of you may not know what you're meant to do with them. I mean, I, for example, in my journal, um, I have used one to back this journal page here because I just think it goes rather nicely. It adds colour. Then as I go into the next section, um, nothing wrong with that. That is the whole purpose of which it was designed. But there are other things that we can do with them too. So I'm going to take a page out of my um, my journal. Um, I, I'm loving working this way at the moment where I don't actually dedicate the that's the wrong word. I don't actually stick it in to a cover yet whilst I'm still working on it. Because it's just so much easier to do things when we've got, um, you know, the page to just pull hither or thither, do with it whatever we want. So all I'm going to need to do this is a ruler. Now, the only ruler I can see on my desk right now is my wiggly ruler. So that'll do. We'll go with that and I'm just going to utilise that. So what can you do with collage pages? Well, collage pages are great because you can do hundreds and thousands of different things with them, basically because you can use them to do all the other things that we would normally do with, um, you know, just paper. But I think they've got something quite unique about them, and that's that they do actually come ready to go for lots of different purposes in your journals. So, for example, I'm going to just take this one page here for a second, and I'm going to show you what I can do with this one page here. And simply by utilising it in the current shapes that it has, um, I'm going to see how many journal pages I can actually complete. Um, and I'm actually going to grab... Oh, <laughs> I was getting all excited there, I think I was finding my big ruler. That's not very big either. Someone's had my ruler. This is very rude, isn't it? Okay, so I found a straight edge. This is actually my son's. Um, right, so the first thing I'm going to do is follow almost follow the, the, the kind of shapes that we've got here to see how much of this I can utilise to make other things. So the first thing I'm going to do is, and this is perhaps one of the main reasons why when I make a collage page personally, um, I don't just um, put, you know, how can I phrase this? I like to layer things on top of things, as many of us do when we make collage pages, for the very reason that if you do just want to do this with it, it's not then just one basic image left underneath. So, for example, I am now going to utilise this as a pocket. We'll come back to that in a moment. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to just trim that down there because what we've now got here is um, a label, which we would use for many, many things. But I'm going to actually use that, I think, in a moment as part of a cluster. Um, then we've got ourselves a very pretty journaling card here. So obviously I'm going to you know, finish these off, we'll back them and do whatever needs to be done to them. But I'm not going to overdo it because at the end of the day, these are ready, um, they're ready designed, you know. This is already lace overlaid on the image. This has already got lots of different aspects to it. So I don't necessarily need to add that much to it for it to be um, use worthy. Is that the right word? Now, if I take this line up here a second now, I am just going to find myself a straight line there. Because obviously we, we want to limit the waste, don't we? Right, hopefully. Yep, there we go. So that, I think, will make another nice sized pocket. Now, hmm, Rachel, you didn't think very well about this when you kind of did this whole thing here, did you? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that straight across there. And... Um, no, I'm not. Do you know what I'm going to do with that there? We may, might end up with a little bit of waste, but I think it'll look pretty really cool. I'm going to just fussy cut around this as best I can a moment.
there we go so that there is ready now for i'm going to use that as a belly band and i think that looks quite cool up there now with that dried um hydrangea um so what have we got left here now well, we've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that so i'm going to simply take this bit here and i'm going to just trim that down and then trim that bit that side Ooh. there we go okay so now we've got ourselves another nice little um thing and then we'll just take that bit off there so we're not wasting that as well and we can use that as maybe as part of a cluster along with this bit here so let's just take that bit off there okay so let's see how many bits of ephemera we can get out of one sheet of collage oh this is exciting i love a challenge right so let's just ink up around these edges a moment and we'll see what we can do now i normally would add some stitching i suppose i could always pause couldn't i and run off and stitch i think it'll just look a little bit better with stitching it'll give it a little bit more depth um and it just i i'm always a bit uncomfortable with just putting paper just on where there's no flaps or anything else but i think if i just stitch around the edge it'll just make it a little bit more stable right, i've already inked that one there um let's just neaten this edge up here a moment because that ruler wasn't great for tearing so let's just trim 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 just a smidgen just so it's nice and smooth and then i'm going to if i can find it use my corner cutter and we we'll just take that off there there we go now it looks like a real pocket doesn't it marvelous right and i think if i add a little bit of lace maybe then that will just give us a bit of texture and then from that then we can just look at these last few bits and pieces like i say maybe we can use them as uh, clusters um journal card definitely for this one and let's see how we put these bits and pieces together now okay right let's put that down okay so first and foremostly let's grab our box of these I think if we do all our lacy bits first, then I can go and do my bits of stitching at the end. And the, oh, look at my, you can tell I've had my lace out quite a bit lately because it's a bit untidy. So I do apologise. It's like opening your bottom drawer, isn't it? And it's like, oh my gosh, look at the mess in there. Right, that there is perfect, as I thought it may be. So where is my uhu? Let's pop a bit of uhu on there. Just move that out the way a second. It's like having a timer going off next to me. Right. Okay. Um, let's pop that on there like so. There we go. And we will pop a little stitch through that in a moment. Um, I wonder if that bit there will fit on the bottom here. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Right. So let's pop that on the bottom of there. Oops. Now I do have another little idea for this um, particular shape, which I think may add to it. Now, obviously, you know, I, was, I mentioned earlier on about using this as a belly band. Now, you could just place that into the centre of your page as a belly band and just secure top and bottom and that would do the job quite nicely. Um, however, I would like to take that a step further, so I'll come back to that in a moment. That's ready to be stitched. Um, Let's put some, I want to put some lace across here too. I know it's got, you know, lovely designs and stuff on there, but I just think we could really build on this a moment. So I'm going to pop that up there maybe. And then perhaps, <coughs> excuse me, perhaps we can have a little frill down the bottom then. Because it's all about the texture, isn't it? It's autumn. And it's all about crinkly leaves and tea day papers <laughs> no it's not about tea day papers summer should be about tea day papers because that's when we go out and do them but no we do like don't we in our fall journals so 
let's just pop this on the bottom of here, like so. Pop that back up. Maybe in there. That's another one of my many jobs I need to do this week, and that is organise my lace box. Oh, my room is so messy right now, but I just haven't had a minute to address it, so we'll come back to that. Um. Okay, so once I start folding, I'll be there all day. Right, so that's that bit there done. I think I might just have a little bit now. Um, have I got a piece there that's just a bit by itself? No, that's a nice long bit there. Um, I'm just thinking cluster wise. Right, sorry, I'm just thinking whilst I craft here a minute. Um, let's just ink all of this. I don't always ink this much or this heavily, but as you can say, these are autumn fall journal stuff, and we want it to feel crispy and almost burnt with autumn shades, don't we? Okay. Okay, so I'm now going to do something with these two little bits of scrap. So I've got some lace scrap bits here that are a bit scrappy right i'm just gonna simply pop these on there i'm just gonna build a quick cluster with them and i'm just looking to these pieces for texture that's all um because the stitching will do the rest that will add the aesthetic side of things um and i'm just gonna pop that then over the edge there and that'll just give us a nice built cluster that will then become a text spot so and i'm not worried about it being creased i want it to feel and look crinkly that's great right so i'm gonna let that dry a second i'm just gonna nip over to my sewing machine oh no one more thing i need to do before i do that is to back the journal card with some copy dyed paper so i've got some kind of green colored stuff here so i'm just gonna quickly pop these on here and this ticket because i'm going to use this actually as a piece of ephemera because um, I now have these lovely pockets to fill. So let's just pop that onto here. And then we will have some nice pieces of ephemera to um, use in the pockets. And by backing them, this lovely um, tea and coffee dye paper, we'll be able to write on them then, won't we? It'll be nice little journal spots which you can never have too many of, let's be honest. Okay, so let's pop that on there. Right, and then we will cut those out. Put on the glue. Okay, so I'm gonna take these pieces over to my sewing machine. I shall be back in a moment. Okay, so I've been over to the sewing machine. I have stitched around now my small pieces of ephemera. So I've got myself some nice little um, journaling spot points and things, some journaling cards there. Eh? My sewing machine did kind of mess up a bit there. I had to rethread the machine, but that's all right. It doesn't matter, it's four. It's not meant to be perfect, is it? So 
you know, I'm not going to I'm gonna throw it away because it's not working properly. So what I do have now are these um, three pockets here. So I'm going to just pop these onto my page a moment. And then we'll have those in place. So I'm thinking we will pop this one here. But I might actually have a little bit of the lace hanging down because my cover... <laughs> Please don't look at my wiggly line. My cover um, is actually going to be quite a bit bigger than the actual um, signatures. So there will be room to have um, things drooping down like this and it won't uh, affect too much. Um, you know, it won't stop the journal from being stood up because the cover will be longer. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there's that one there, and then I might pop this one in on this side here so that I can do a similar sort of thing again. And this is going to be a corner tuck. So I'm just take a bit of glue off there. Okay. There we go. So that's that one there. Right, now I don't want to like overdo the, um, I don't remember where that went now. So I don't want to overdo the amount of things on the same sheet of paper. So I'm going to just, actually, I think I might work quite nicely on here. So this is a paper bag that I think I showed you all at the beginning. And what I've done is I've popped it in as a, a page and a pocket. And it's got a little tuck in there, but I think that would go quite nicely on there. And that would just spruce that up a little bit, should we say. So let's just glue that down on that edge there. And I'm going to leave the top and side open. So if I want to just tuck something down in there, a little ticket or something, um, I will be able to do that. So yeah, quite quite pleased with that. Okay, and then we've got our bits and pieces of ephemera, so that could even go in there like that. And then we've got those to go in there. And then obviously on the back side, then we will have that lovely tuck spot there. Now, the last piece that I've got, I haven't forgotten it, is this bit here. And I did mention about making this into a belly band. But as I was talking, I had an idea. I'm just looking around me because I don't know where carpets I had in my hand 10 minutes ago. Where have you all gone? Oh, there they are. So much paper on my desk. Right, so I've got some lovely bits of fabric here that Bella very kindly donated to my journal. <laughs> I called up to visit her the other day, as she does, being the wonderful mama that she is. Um, and she gave me some different bits of fabric um, to utilise in my journal. Um, some which she's been using and some which will go. Um, so I'm just going to test some of these out a moment and see which one of these would make an ideal backing bit. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto a piece of fabric. That's nice. Does it pop? I think it disappears a bit onto that. As much as I love this, I think I'm going to keep that for some ruffles, which I'm going to work on later on. Um, and then there's this one here which it kind of also is disappearing into a bit, isn't it? So maybe I go with this, or we've got this lovely gold, which again, might be quite nice to make the, ah, hmm. I think it's shiny on the other side. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that actually, because this is patterned enough as it is without us bringing in a, a pattern pattern. Um, and I'm going to just show you how I think I might be able to do this um, onto a page. So I'm thinking this might be ideal to go. Hmm. Oh, what if we put it on the grease proof page? Oh no, let's pop it on here because this, like, I know this has got, you know, but it's bothering me a bit. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit plain. Right. So what I'm thinking is if I get some fabric. And then I'm going to stitch, obviously, just to kind of make it a bit more thing. And I'm going to just do a little hem around to make a proper like belly band. 
and then I'm going to stick that on the top of it and then you will have a belly band behind the fabric and we'll have a belly band in front of the fabric like that would be a double belly band okay so I might I might have to speed this up a little bit as I go along I'm just going to get my page dimension a minute so I know how long it needs to be yeah and then I'm going to Let me do that first. Right, let's take that bit off here a minute because that's just annoying. Right, that's right. So we've got that there. We know that that's the length and width. And then I'm going to say, whoop, come on, that's all right. So I tear that down there like that. Right, so get out of the way now. So the easiest way I can do this. Where I know it'll be nice and stable is probably to just secure this onto um, maybe a bit of card. What have I got in my bin? Okay. Right. Okay. So obviously it's school uniform time here. My son's had new uh, new uniform this week, so obviously we've got lots of packaging lying around. This will do quite nicely. Unfortunately, it's a bit bent, but that's all right. If I double it over, it will um, be nice and sturdy. So let me just get my size. Oops. I'm just going to get the shape because I'm going to double him up. on my desk it's just chaos here don't ask me why i have to use this hmm. interesting <laughs> you know what i'm trying to do i'm trying to flatten it down but it doesn't want to do it so there we go right just so i've got a big bulky bendy bit right let's just glue that together in a minute and hopefully the one will support the other but we've just been bent and they've plonked it in the bin in my room. I'm just going to try and bend otherwise. There we go. Okay, right. So that's a bit firmer now. Back support in the front. Marvellous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric. Which side do we want? That one, I think, isn't it? No, that side. Slightly shiny. Okay, so I'm going to take that side there. I'm going to just, um, I don't, I'm going to just fix this into place. I just hope now we don't have any difficulty stitching through this card. It's not overly thick, but it's thicker than it would normally be. If you know what I mean? got our frayed edges top and bottom yeah that looks great so i'm just going to now stitch around um all of that and then we will pop our where's it gone belly band on top of that see and i may add oh actually i think i might put a bit of lace on that let's just kind of you know give it a bit more of um autumn north feel let's have a look what we've got here something oh it's lovely having a good excuse to get all these really old antique laces out because they're very texturized aren't they there we go Ooh, that's better yes like that i like that very much yeah right goes in there let's go stitch this i will be 
you straight back. Okay, so there we go. That's all stitched around. And we've got a nice loose band in the middle. And I'm just going to stick this now on top of the lace. And I'm just going to put something behind where I'm sticking, just so that the lace behind it doesn't stick down, if that makes sense. Because I'm going to have to use this glue to just ensure that that stays where it needs to go. Make sure that's in the middle there. But what I don't want is the lace then stick into the fabric underneath. So the safest way to do that is to use something as a bit of a buffer. Otherwise, if I had just stuck that onto that lace, chances are it would now be sticking to the fabric. So, just keep moving that around a moment. Let's just move that down there now. And then, look out where I need my glue. So, I'm just going to be sticking that as best as I can there. Again, keeping that as central as I can without sticking to anything. There we go. And just let that dry for a minute. And then we'll pop it onto our page. I think that looks rather marvellous. What do you reckon? Right, there we go. Now mind the back, we haven't got to look at the back, have we? We just need that to stick and to stick well. Because <laughs> it's not overly light. Um, I just pop it on the middle of the page. There we are, and there we go. Hey, oh, I'm happy with that. Marvellous. So there we go. That is, how many bits did we just get out of that one collage page there? Should we just, should we just check? Oh, and I'll tell you what I just want to add to that now. It's one of these lovely woods. From Rose. Um, dum, 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 dum. Hmm. Let's go with. Let's go with Create. Because I feel we've been creative today. We've taken one thing and we have made it into many. With only the additional help, a little bit of fabric, some small bits of lace, and a piece of card from the school uniform packaging. <gasps> So we reused too. I love it. Brilliant. Let's just take that in there. Okay. Right. Um, I just want a little bit of something behind that. How about this? Will that do? Just to give it a little bit of dimension. I think that'll do the job nicely. Don't ask me why, but I always just feel a bit funny about just sticking wood straight down. Perhaps like that might be best. Hmm. glue on something the laws of physics apply the same as the ones that apply to butter on toast so in other words anything with glue on it you drop it it's fair game it is going to land on its face the sticky face you notice that oh i can put that there actually or is it just me There we go. Create. Marvellous. Right, so one piece of paper and we have created, created, see, created, well, made, I think, um, a tuck spot, three journal spots, as in things to journal on, um, a beautiful pocket here. I'm going to borrow that a moment. I'm going to flip this over to the back. 
to another beautiful pocket here. And you notice all I've done is just stitched, add a little bit of lace because I didn't feel the need to do anything else to that. You know, it's all on there, that's all on there. And then move our way into the middle section here. And then we've gone and gotten ourselves not just one belly band, not just two belly bands. And again, just make sure that doesn't stick itself down there. But actually, three belly bands. So I will be able to put three different sections of ephemera into that belly band, which I think is amazing. Oops, let's go that side. There we are. I'm really pleased with that. I think that looks fantastic. There we go. So that's your first video on what you can do with a collage sheet from a digi kit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, I would really, really appreciate it if you'd leave me a nice comment below. Um, videos are slowing at the moment. Not quite sure what's happening with it's YouTube, whether it's perhaps my lack of activity. Um, but I do know that when I get some response from you guys, it all helps. So if you wouldn't mind just even leaving me a little smiley face and a like on my video, I would really appreciate that. Thanks ever so much. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I will be back with you very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.